Well, hello folks, welcome back to the channel. I'm the Custard Prophet. We're back here for our FM24 main save with Vistler Krakow. Um, and yeah, we couldn't keep going with things in the same way. We were just not doing well enough. So I've looked to change things up. As you can see, it's worked really well. We're still pretty much in exactly the same place that I left you. But the problem doesn't seem to be quite... Um, the same anymore, which is a little bit weird. I think I think it's more fixable this time. Let's go and have a look. Okay, folks. So what have we done? First of all, these are the results uh, after that loss against Rakov, um, which was I don't think a very deserved res uh, result. Um, you can see actually we have lost our last four away games. This is starting to be a problem. However, we've won our last two home games um, without conceding. So. Yeah, interesting, but we haven't scored away for three games, which is, <laughs> you guessed it, interesting. So we have tried to change things up. And what we're doing is I've generated a tactic to play at home, which is working a treat. It is a much more short passing tactic, keeping the ball, not, not losing it, and then just creating chances. And the last two games we've played against two very good sides, We'll have a look at the two against Brookbet Tamalika, who are in, in the playoffs. Absolutely dominant. 2.38 XG to their 2.0.21. We won 1-0. Should have won this a lot better than that. Very, very happy with this. The other game against Legia Warsaw absolutely dominated this game. 36 shots, 16 on target, 3.38 XG. And it's only two shots against neither of them on target. So very, very happy with those two games. In the other games away from home, we tried the same tactic. Uh, so the, the, the home tactic away at Piest. And this is what happened. Actually, we had more chances. They had a penalty and scored. But we just don't seem to be able to create that chance. Uh, which was which was frustrating. Um, and then against Cracovia, same sort of deal. Um one shot against us, they scored three. Um, I mean, it wasn't we didn't completely dominate the game, but uh, it was we were better than they were for the majority of it. Uh, but we weren't able to deal with the fact that they'd scored away from home. It seems to be that we can't do that anymore, which is frustrating. Anyway, we're playing Vidzu Vidzev here uh, in the hope that our, our home form that can continue and that we can push ourselves back into these playoff pictures. I think if we get in there and finish in there, it gives us a lot better chance of actually just progressing season on season. If we can finish in the uh, in the European positions, surely that's going to be uh, we're going to be more likely to be getting more money in and and generating you know more revenue increasing our reputation bringing in better players all that sort of stuff so let's go and play this game against vidzu who are immediately below us hopefully we can put in the same sort of performance we've done in the last two away home games which has been absolutely spectacular so up top we're going to be playing acosta and ted Draza. are we doing that no we're not we're playing delgado and john jules there we go <laughs> swapping them out completely um kanya is on the left side I know. Uh, Rubio on the right. Uh, Click and Polman in the centre. And the back line of Krasnowski, Christian, Cordoba and Rufio. We're playing Christian um, in mid in centre of defence because he's basically uh, wants to play in, in the centre of defence. We've been playing him uh, around a little bit. Um, he, I think we'll probably lose him if we don't do that. So we're going to see how that works. Not sure how good an idea it is. Polman's been doing pretty well uh, since he's been in and we're trying Rubio on the right side for the first time uh, because we're really struggling to get the player on the left side working well. Carlos has just gone off the boil completely so we need to find someone to do a job out there and surely it's going to be the player who's done the job on the right side otherwise we'll just have to completely <laughs> switch back. Anyway folks let's get into it. Oh, a win would be amazing. Let's get back into those playoff pic that playoff picture. So we are we've got the possession, which is good to see. Um, we've had the shots so far, which is good to see. And here is what we want: uh, Rufio running in. I don't know why we can't seem to do this same thing at home, but 
you know, if we're if we're fantastic away from home, maybe it's more of a here's Rubio. Oh dear me. Yeah, maybe it's a mental thing. We're just struggling to, you know, complete that uh, away from home. Why was that not an on target shot? I don't know. So we continue to be on top of it. it's brilliant. This is click the uh, with the corner, and it's in. It's Rufo, uh, and it is a goal one nil. Uh, he's playing in the center of the uh, of the pitch this time, and well, we certainly made the most of that ball in from Click, who is taken over from Duda, who has been terrible in midfield. It's been all change in midfield actually. Uh, so as you can see, we're dominant. Well, let's say that Sakic and over the top from them but i mean a 0 0.02 xg chance i'm not too worried about that well then i'm more worried about this oh god <laughs> goalkeeper ah oh. oh, that was a bit of a a bit of a mess that was what was me saying we were dominant it's just a disaster right here we go picked up the ball rufo at the back Here's a Rubio. <laughs> it's into John Jules. Is that allowed? He hasn't scored for a little while. He's been hitting the post more than he's been scoring. But eight shots, four on target. And with 2-1 up, that's better. Rufo with the pass. Into Rubio. Rubio. And it's a nice one. And, and Rubio does really the first thing he's done in half a season for us. Okay, we get to half time. We're 1-0 up. I th uh, two one up. I think we deserve that. Uh, on to the second half, and away we go. So it looks like so away from home, we we're, we're going to be trying a much more sort of longer ball tactic, trying to find the players because this just doesn't seem to work at home. So we're going with two different tactics. I don't think I've ever done that before, but that's the plan. <laughs> we'll see how well it works. If we can sort out the tactic uh, away from home, which we do seem to have done nicely. Uh, at home, sorry, and then get the away from home tactic working. All will be good with the world. It's so whether we need to have a different formation as well. Krasnowski, here's Kanya, ball in, and uh, Ravas gets up above everyone, and he's going to go along with this. Straight over the top, though. That's nicely done. John Jules doing very well, hassling them from the front there. <laughs> nicely, the two. Uh, the two players with R in their name working well there. And here is Click running in and doing good things from midfield. Duda is going to have to work hard to get his place back. 3-1. Right, hardly any time to go. We're still 3-1 up, looking dominant force in this game against a very good Vidzu side. So we seem to have a way to win at home. Wouldn't it be beautiful if we can sort the sort this out for next time when we got no, a, a way we can win away from home, or at least not lose quite so regularly? And a really really good performance. They had one shot and scored. That's a little bit frustrating. I mean, that's exactly what we had in the previous game. Um, one shot on target, I should say. Um, so we need to think about that. Great performance from John Jules. Rubio did fantastic on the right side. Uh, Kanya not so great on the left, but. Um, Rubio and Rufo uh, linked together fantastically well so maybe maybe we've got something there and Carlos can come in click doing great as well in midfield I think there's a lot of positives to take from this um, just don't quite know what to do when we're away from home how do we start scoring because it, it was so dominant in these games and then we go away and we just can't seem to beat anywhere near as incisive anyway we're fourth in the league yes we've had a few games more than some of the other teams but um you know points on the board are sometimes better than um games in hand so we're going to play uh, the uh pre-season i'm slightly worried we might lose kania and then after that we've got vizsla plock which would be an interesting game away from home uh pogon uh, away there which might be one to come back for vorta poznan there uh, Corona, <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know where we'll come back, but we will come back at some point in there. And hopefully I will have sorted out our uber tactic for the away matches um, to really sort of get things going properly and, and get us 
firing in the second half of the season because I reckon we, we're not that far away from doing it. Might look to let a few players go, a few players in, just to uh, freshen things up, perhaps. We'll see. Anyway, folks, let me know what you think about that two-tactic system away and at home. Um, do you do that? I think most, I think people do do that. It's just lazy folks like me who don't. I think some people change the tactic every single game. Whereas, you know, I tweak it a little bit, but it's, um, I forget what the tactic was I had previously. So it's just an ever evolving um, formation. Never ever going back to how it was before, which is, I guess, the reason you save them and stuff. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, Hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. In the comments, let us know what you reckon the second half of the season will look like. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.